in regards to pace, yeah. h- how did you handle that? Was was it more that you kind of tried to set your own pace, or was there, you know, like one, once it kicks off, did you try to keep up with the person in front of you like, and let them set the pace? Or especially, I guess, I mean, at twenty three, I guess you'd have your own strategies, but like on your first one, what was your kind of mentality going? Was it just about keeping up with the person in front of you or or how how does that all work? I've never been worried about everybody else. Even, um, yeah, in everything I do, I don't worry about what the others are doing. I worry about what I'm doing, what I need to do. Again, pace, cadence, uh, hydration, um, food. I'm always thinking about what do I need to do. I Um, I, I guess what I'm asking though is like, you know, being your first event, like, yeah. and that's why I say on your twenty three event, I I assume you just do what what you're wanting to do. Yeah. Um, with the first one, I I I don't know. <laughs> I would probably be like, I'll try to keep up with him, not because I'm trying to be competitive and keep up with him, but I'm like, well, I'm hoping he's done an Ironman before, so therefore yeah. he knows what kind of pace we need. To, yeah, because because no. I find a lot of people when they they take a competitive task like that, um. You know, you'll you'll sometimes see like the guys when they do their first event, they'll run out right at the beginning. Yeah, but then they'll realize like ten k's later, like oh, this is hard, and no. they'll start to drop back start and drop back. Right, and 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 that's I guess where I'm coming from is is the fact that you know, I mean, as you say, you've done marathons and 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 triathlons leading up to the event, but you know, you probably didn't know what was ahead. I mean, you kind of did, but you didn't because you hadn't done it yet. Like, yeah. and I'm specifically mm. talking about your very first Ironman. Mm. Like, so afterwards it one, becomes easier. Yeah, so, uh, well, it never comes easier, but you just become a bit more aware. Um, but yeah, my, I, it was a case of, um, my first one was in New Zealand at Lake Taupo, and you see the turnaround boy. So you go, right, 1K, back, Right, right. So there's you, and and so I, I could see the turnaround boy. So my my whole focus was I've got to get to that first turnaround. Um, then you get to the the second turnaround, and that's the focus. Um, on the bicycle, uh, there's an aid station where you can replenish your water bottles every twenty kilometers. So I will break it down. Right, what do I need to do to get to the next water, next next aid station on the run? Uh, in an Ironman, you have an aid station every two k's. So, what do I need to do to get to the, that that next aid station? Uh, I never worried about anybody. With Ironman, you are there's up to two thousand people in the water at the same time, all wearing the same gear. You don't know who can swim, who can't swim, um, and the it's interesting. The the for a lot of people, the worst part of an Ironman is the actual swim, because you're all in the water. The cannon goes, and you're off. And literally, there's people swimming over you, getting kicked in the face. You're getting people swimming and belting in the back of the head. And um, for some, it's it can be quite daunting. Um, but it's 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 part of the experience. And if you're swimming in the ocean, if you're doing like a, an ocean swim in like WA, Bustleton, um, we had one year where the ray waves were rolling. It was an amazing time, um, but uh, yeah, I used to. Use, I just break everything down. It's happened in Winter Warrior. You, you've been through the Winter Warrior program. The guys, I think, the guys who put the program together on a day, they knew what they wanted every week. But every day we'd focus on on a certain part of it, and they'd never tell us what was coming the day after because they wanted us to focus on the here and now. If you do this well then you've been in a better position for, for tomorrow. Um, it's in, I, I run corporate sales training programs and, and sales coaching, and I'm constantly saying to people in business, don't worry about your annual target. Don't worry about your monthly target. What's your target for this week? And then what's the activity you need to put in? How many proposals? How many conversations? How many meetings? Um, and just focus on the activity because I'm a, I'm a firm believer in the old adage, quality activity drives results. Don't everything out and often the results out of your control. So just focus on the activity. 